Hi everybody! So today I'm going to be talking about different apps that we like to use in speech and language therapy with our preschoolers. Now these apps are not just for children in speech therapy, they can be used with any preschool aged child. And the three apps that I'm going to show you today are all free or they have free trials for the month um, and they're available on Apple and Google Play Store. So if you know me personally, or if I worked with your child in speech therapy before, you've probably heard me talk about the effects of too much screen time in children this age. So it might seem kind of silly that I'm talking about iPad apps after preaching no screen time. Um, but the reason for that is I know that so many of you are at home right now trying to work from home while your children are there as well. And that can be really hard to get your job done and still educate and help your child learn. So um, these apps that I'm going to recommend are very interactive and they're super educational or else I wouldn't be showing them to you. But anyway, so they, instead of just watching a video on YouTube or a song on here, it's more interactive and that gives the child the opportunity to create and learn more language. And you'll see what I mean as we go through these apps. Um, I do want to say the World Health Organization does recommend for children three to five that one hour of screen time a day is the recommendation. Um, now I know this time with everything going on, there that might be a little bit higher and that's okay to go a little bit higher, but what I do want to recommend is that you make sure that the, the times that they're using the iPad or the tablet, it's no more than 20 to 30 minutes at a time. Um, anything longer than that, they can zone out and they're really not learning anymore. So they need to get up and move their bodies and play with actual items. So that's what I'm gonna recommend that make sure it's only 20 to 30 minutes at a time, two to three times a day if possible. Again, this is a time of crisis, so I understand. <laughs> so the first app that I'm gonna show you guys is called Epic, it's Epic Books. And so with this one, it's gonna be kinda of hard to show you the video, but so it is free for parents right now. Sorry, I had to double check. It's free for parents for one month. And after that, I think it's $7.99 a month, um, but educators have access to this for free and they can add their students, only their students to their classroom to get access for free. So I would recommend that you reach out to your child's parent or therapist and see if they're, they're, I'm sorry, your child's teacher or therapist and see if they have access to this account. It's free for them again and maybe kind of see if that is something they want to set up for you. So when you go into the app and once you're set up, hold on one second, it automatically went to the story I was on. Okay, so when you get on here, the they have options for books that you can, you can see there's hundreds and hundreds of books, but you can either read the book with your child where it walks through each step and each page on the book, or there's the option where the app can read it to your child. So that's kind of a great option for sometimes maybe if you have a meeting that you need to be on or a conference call and you can't entertain your child for the next couple minutes, this is a way to kind of help your child entertain themselves. So I just want to show you what each of those looks like. The first one here, I'm going to show you I See a Cat. This is one that you would read with your child. And so it works just like you're reading a book. Um, you see the pages on the book. This one, I particularly love this story because it's very repetitive. Each page says, has four words, I see a, and whatever the dog sees. So it's great to work on that you know, sight words for maybe those early readers and then just repetitive phrases and vocab naming for any child. So when you go through, even though there's just four words on a page, just like when you're reading any book, you can ask more questions. You can add words, add language to the pages. So, oh, the dog, he's so excited. He's barking. What, what is he barking at? What does he see? A squirrel. Yeah, he says, I see a squirrel. And you just go through the book so again, I just really love this story. And at the end, I'm gonna show you what happens when you finish the book. So once you're done, you get they get star points and that adds up how long you're reading the story for. And then it builds up, they can get badges and fun things on here. So it's kind of a great way to incentivize children to, to read as much as they can. Then for the read to me option, sorry. So this is Rough Says the Dog. So you can pause it when you want to start it. Um, and it goes through and it reads 
each page so the child does not have to flip the pages it goes by itself this is a great story so rough says the dog it's all about animal noises so even though i said this is one that the child does not need your help with it is a great story to read with your child because you can pause it and say the duck what does the duck say um and all the animal noises on here i mean don't get embarrassed about people hearing you may make silly noises because we're all in quarantine right now anyway so that is epic let me get out of here and show you the next app that I would like to talk about. This one is my favorite. It's called Con Kids. And so with this one, it is completely free. Wait till the music stops. So it is free, you just need an email to sign up. And you go in, and when you do this, so, sorry, it's so hard to see. You can, the child can just press play. What I like about this app is that it is very child independent, so they can, kind of walk through the app, asks questions, and makes the child kind of manipulate and move things. So you, the child does not need your help when navigating this. So that's another great option if you need to get some work done. So they can just press play and it goes through the whole thing. But if you have specific things that you wanna work on with your child, the library up here has a great option. So they have books just like the last thing I was showing you. These are some free books where they're read to the child. Um, they have videos on here. I don't love videos. As I was saying earlier, kids can kind of just zone out on videos and it's hard for them to actually learn and, and engage in that. Um, but this app does have some pretty great ones. What I would recommend is specific things that, that you want your child to work on. So um, this is great for speech students because there's letter sounds. There's more down here. And letter sounds. So whatever sound your child is working on, you can click on that sound. It talks about what each what different words that start with that letter, what sound does it make. Um, it's got different things like categories and positional words, so it's wonderful. Um, this create section is something I know my nephew would love. You get to draw pictures in here, and then you can even put little cartoon animals in, this, in the picture. And what I really like is it has this option where you can record. So say the child creates this whole picture and then you can record them telling a story about the picture or you can tell a story about the picture and they can listen to it back. So I do really like that option. But my favorite thing about this is the different interactive lessons up here. So the one I like the most for speech and language at least is for is logic. And so it goes through and up here, so it has three different categories for preschool. As you all know, you know, your five-year-old preschool age child can do a little bit more complex things than your three-year-old can. So it breaks it up into A, B, and C, A being the youngest and C the oldest. And it just goes through different concepts like sorting by, you know, opposite, sorting by categories, things like that. I absolutely love it. They go over some social and emotional skills, which I think is super helpful. Um, physical development. There's just plenty of options on here. So I love this. This is Con Kids. And I'll be posting on after the video, it'll be some links to these apps as well. And the last one I want to show you guys is called Montessori Preschool. So with this one, let me get to the home screen. So this one is actually, they do have a week free trial. I just have the free version of it. I'm not doing the trial or paying for it, but um, this is one that I would recommend if there are a lot of options. So if you're able to pay for that trial, it's definitely, there's, there's a lot of things on here. Not pay for the trial, pay for it after the trial, sorry. But the things that are on here for the free version that I really like, so they've got shapes and colors, music, nursery rhymes, but my favorite is this practical life. So with this, it goes, shows like a doctor's office or hospital setting, and with this one, so you see the doctor, and what I like about this is you can ask different um, WH questions. So those are who, what, where, and when. So, you know, who do you go see when you're sick? When do you go to the doctor? Where do you go if you're sick? Things like that. What does the doctor do? Um, and you go through, you can put a mask on the doctor, and then as you go down, you see these children are feeling sick, and it tells you what to do and how to help them. So you can take their temperature, and give them medicine, things like that. 
Um, very interactive. You can work on, you know, the, like I said, questions, following directions, sequencing. There's plenty of options on here. Um, so this is just, I think, a great free option as well. So those are the three that I wanted to show you guys today. There's obviously hundreds more that we could be talking about. And so I wanted to create, we're gonna make a list of all the apps that we use in speech and language therapy and ones that we think that you guys would like to use at home as well. So keep an eye out on our Facebook page for that. And if you have any questions or anything that we can help you with, please don't hesitate to message the Walker Scottish Wright Clinic. We'll be posting videos every day, so definitely keep checking us out. Thank you.